Hello everyone. Welcome to another exciting moment in our in our studies. So um, we're going to look at the question here. The question says if 12 cm cube of hydrogen we ask with 10 cm cube of nitrogen, calculate the volume of SS nitrogen, SS nitrogen, and the volume of residual gases. So in this um, chemical equation, in this chemical equation, we'll be able to see how they combine. According to Gerlizak's, we are meant to understand that in a, when gases combine, they combine in a simple ratio of their volumes. That is the volume of the reactants and also the products. They exist in simple ratio. In other words, this one now, you look at it, we have one cm cube. That's according to the law, and the, the, the Gerlizak's law. Here again, we have what? 3 cm cube. And here we have 2 cm cube. So, based on this, what we have here, if you look at it, we have hydrogen to be 12 cm cube. We want to know how many, the volume of this that will react. And it seems that from the equation, they say that we should find the excess nitrogen. So, in this case now, 3 cm cube. 3 cm cube of hydrogen will react with 1, 1 cm cube. 1 cm cube of nitrogen gas. So now 12 cm cube. 12 cm cube will give us 1 over 3 times 12 over 1. That will give us, this will cancel out. We have 4 cm cube. 4 cm cube. So the volume that will react with a 12 cm cube of hydrogen is what? 4 cm cube. That means, but we have the volume 10 cm cube. In other words, that means we have excess of nitrogen. To calculate the volume of excess nitrogen, excess, excess nitrogen, that means 10 cm cube minus 4 cm cube. That will give us 6 cm cube. That's the excess nitrogen. Um, 6 cm cube of what? Nitrogen in what? Excess. So this this we will, will need this thing um, later on. So another one we are going to find out say that we'll calculate the volume of residual gases. Now in this reaction, at the end of the reaction, it means that the gas that remains after the reaction, 4 cm cube of nitrogen will disappear, 12 cm cube of hydrogen will go. Then the rest of them that will remain will be 6 cm cube of nitrogen and whatever it is produced, that's the ammonia that is produced here, that's the only thing that will remain. So in this case, we have 12 cm cube of hydrogen. So let's see what we can get from the volume of ammonia that we produce when 12 cm cube of hydrogen combined with nitrogen. So in this case, we have um, from the chemical equation again, from this chemical equation, you find out that three cm cube of hydrogen will give us two cm cube of what? Of ammonia, of ammonia. So, so now, 12 cm cube, 12 cm cube of hydrogen gas will give us 2 over 3 times 12 over 1. This can go, this one we have 4. 2 times 4, we have 8. 8 cm cube of what? Ammonia. ACM cube of ammonia is what um, 12 cm cube of hydrogen will produce when you combine with nitrogen. So now, in this case, we say we should calculate the volume of residual gas. Residual gas, like I told you earlier on, is the gases that will remain. The gases that will remain now, at the end of this reaction, we have ACM cube of ammonia, and then 
2 cm cube of um, nitrogen gas, 6 cm cube of nitrogen gas remaining. In that case, when we add it up, if we add up these two, 8 cm cube plus um, 6 cm cube, that will give us um, 8, 8 plus 6 will give us 14 cm cube. That means the residual gas that we have is um, 14 cm cube. Um, actually, if you look at this in very well, it's important to know, to be able to interpret, interpret a um, chemical um, equation. If you're able to interpret the chemical equation very well, you, you will never have problem in solving a problem like this. You understand? Looking at this now, you can see that we managed to use, we use the, the information we have in the chemical equation so that we'll be able to uh, solve all the problems that we have here. All right, thank you so much for your time, and we hope to see you again. Thank you.